question quite a lot is that uh, you know can you actually do the bulk barbecue method of frying either side of the meat for five minutes then boiling it and then reducing it before it's served and the answer is yes you can do it for whatever meat that you want you can do it for loin, loin steak you could do it for chops you can do it for uh, barbecue ribs the loin steak cake. absolutely any form of steaks that you have meat so in other words it's been cut up it's about that thick quite a nice chunk you can even do it with chicken uh, you'll get really nice results and the benefit is is that normally especially if you look at sirloin steak it can be quite tough once it's been cooked and some people might find it difficult to eat some people don't like it because blood escapes from the meat by using this type of technique it's almost like braising it for hours so that you won't find blood in it and what you're going to get is a very very soft piece of meat that tastes great really easy to chew and really enjoyable when you eat it right so let's have a look at uh, doing a different meat so today we're going to have a look at doing loin steaks so we've been to the supermarket as you do and here's our loin steaks and we've got four so obviously what we need to do is take them out of the packet and there they are looking lovely uh, I'm not going to do absolutely anything with them I'm just going to let them go into the frying pan as they are so the next step is literally put them in the frying pan now on this on these steaks if you have a look carefully you can actually see quite a lot of fat which is the white areas so I'm not going to put any oil in the pan which is your first saving so there's no additional oil we're going to use the fat from the meat so what we're going to do is fry them for five minutes on one side then we're going to turn them around and literally fry them on the other side for another five minutes and as you can tell here there's lots and lots of natural fat in the pan so it won't stick and just make the, the, the loin taste even nicer once it's cooked and also don't forget is that when we're frying these meats if we put the pan lid on it's going to make it cook quicker and it's going to retain as much flavour from the meat as possible so while that's frying away with the old barbecue spur ribs they came pre-flavoured and the problem is that we don't know what's in that sauce it could be very calorific it could be high in sugar so this time what I'm going to do is just simply use barbecue seasoning and take about a capful of seasoning and just put it on the plate ready for when we add the water so once again if we look at the steaks, uh, loin steaks now they've been done on both sides we've got this nice little golden appearance which is exactly what we want so the next thing to do is add the water uh, make sure that the heat's on maximum when you do this we've added the water it should be bubbling away and what we're going to do is let that bubble for eight minutes after eight minutes we need to turn them over uh, and at this point what we need to do is also add our barbecue spices or barbecue seasoning uh, what this will do it will actually start to flavor the water so it will just produce a really nice sauce um, because the pork loins in there for a further eight minutes some of that sauce is going to penetrate into the meat and it's going to uh, make the entire thing taste really barbecue really nice don't have to use barbecue you could use an oxo cube or a vegetable cube so you just get the meat taste you could put in peppers so you get peppered pork loin whatever you fancy you know this is the great thing about doing home cooking at this point you can put in what you want really experiment with the food uh, if something that you produce you don't feel is great then you don't have to do it again uh, if you create something magical write it down even create your own recipe book and move forward and create these wonderful brand new dishes once the barbecue is in there we'll just need to give it a quick stir and leave it for a further eight minutes meanwhile we can get our plates out and what we're going to do is just put a little bit of spoked barbecue around the edge of the plate just to make it look a bit more decorative we put some couscous in uh, keep it nice and healthy it's more healthier than rice definitely more healthier than if you tend to have these with chips or whatever 
but we're just trying to create something which is different, something which looks attractive. So we're going back to our port line now, I think we can tell that the water is turning into a sauce, it's thinning up quite nicely. Uh, just give it a bit of a stir and try and collect as much of that sauce as possible. Obviously you can see there is that make, makes the meat glisten which is far more appealing for when we're eating it. And when we get to the point where we can see the bottom of the pan, must apologise for this photograph, just a lot of steam was hanging around. <laughs> Uh, but you can see at the bottom of the pan here is that there's no sauce left, which means that these are ready to eat, which is a great thing. So back to our plates, we've done this in two ways. So if you look on the left hand side, the port line's been stripped down into, you know, cut down into little strips. And on the right hand side, it's just as it came out the pan. Obviously, if you look at the edges now, all the white areas have disappeared. That's been used for cooking rather than adding extra olive oil, grapeseed oil or grapeseed oil depending on which you normally choose but looking there we can see that all the fat is gone which is a really really nice really nice way of pre presenting the food and it makes it that little bit healthier not that you've taken the fat off the meat but the fact that you haven't added extra fat during the cooking process and then finally we zoom in there, we can see that if we add the sauce, which is from the pan, it gives it a very nice glistening feel, uh, feel to it, making it more attractive to the eye. And obviously we all eat with our eyes, so uh, that's ready to be served. And the result was simply gone. So, you know, it's something that can be really nice, really appealing. Uh, and there we have it. It was all... Uh, all in our little belly, shall we say. So once again, five, five minutes each side, put the lid on, lid on, put the heat to maximum, fill it up level with the meat, water level to the meat, leave it from one side for eight minutes, turn it over, add any seasoning that you want to, rather than have it pre-seasoned or pre sauces put on, so you know exactly what you're eating. Uh, give it a stir, lid back on, further eight minutes, and then just keep stirring it after that time until that sauce is thick enough where you can see parts of the bottom of the pan and then serve. Give it a try. We've done pork wine now, we've done barbecue spare ribs. Uh, try it, let me know what you think. So thank you for watching this video. It's like an alternative back in the kitchen. We're not actually in the kitchen but we've just take, done it by photographs. Let me know if this is coming across a bit better or is it better to actually see me cook the actual food. I don't know. So thank you for watching, don't forget as always, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon.